This is how I rig my Peleg setups. Enjoy! First, start off with the rod of your choice. This is my pick. Then choose your reel. This is my oldest Okuma Citrix. Feed your line through the eyes. I put on to Baba Stoppers just to be safe. You'll thank me later. Then put on a bead and a strike indicator. It helps to see your barber. Make note of the smaller hole to start your line through. Just like this. Smooth movement. Next, add your barber. I take mine to protect it and to add more weight for a nice bounce. We got the line through. Use mono line if you're having trouble then tie your braid to it and pull it through. This looks so sexy. Oh sorry, let's get the sinkers on. Next I used the beads, a one ounce sinker and two one half ounce sinkers to help the barber sit low and perfect in the water. Yep, just like that. You will need a two way swivel. I will take my braid and feed it through then loop it. This will keep the braid from slipping. Then I do the fisherman's knot. Eight times around and back through the bottom hole. I can remember this knot better than what I ate for breakfast two days ago. Make sure to pull it tight and leave some slack just in case. Next get some mono line as your leader. Make sure it's as long as your barber. We use mono in case we get snagged. The mono will break before your braid and you won't lose everything. Size number for gachu hooks. For the hook, I do the snail knot. It gets tighter and tighter as tension is applied. I've not had a problem with this knot breaking either. I caught my 63 pound blue cat with this knot. Again, this is just my setup. I'm not telling you how to run your own but use this if you like it. Oh and don't forget to leave some slack at the end of the knot just in case the knot slips at all to tighten up. I cut it just a little shorter. It bugged me. Tie the same fisherman's knot we used earlier for the swivel. Thanks for watching. Good luck this year.